I know I could I could walk the line I could walk the, the line pretty well yeah. and not cross over into blasphemy. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Sure. And speak. You know what I'm saying? And because I know my work, a lot of people speak their own demise into into existence. That's for so sure. I feel like I know which words to say and which words not to say, and to even take on that role or even take on that name. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. As the the Messiah of yeah. trap yeah. music. I feel like I know yeah. I can say I think I, I, I'm knowledgeable enough to speak it to where I'm not blasphemous and I'm not disrespecting God or... Man, it's Scott for the motherfucking plug, the savior of trap music, trap Jesus himself, and I'm tuned in with Taco TV, here to live my truth. This nigga Taco Tuesday sneaking yeah, in, sneak in the interview. It's Lil' Lord. Body murder. He's young Lord, man. Goon of Jerry Rich Payson. Big Riff Bit. Big Flop Lane Sam. That's Baby Up, aka Slim Rich. And why is Jerry just 3 0? Lil' Boy, I need you. It's K Prince. Tune in the voice of the youth. Taco Talks TV, you know the fuck. Hey man, say man, thanks for pressing play, man. You tuned in with the motherfucking voice of the youth, man. Taco Talks TV. We going all the way up. Back with my good man again. Scar for the plug. You know what I'm saying? Trap Every Jesus time. just dropped. We going up, man. You know what I'm saying? Look, from D.C. to Atlanta. Now we in D.C. Last time we was in D.C. Before that, we was in Atlanta. Next time you see us, we going to be in Atlanta. We might be in L.A. Oh, we might be in L.A. We'll spot in L.A., man. Yeah, man. You know what I'm saying? We're changing the vibes. Man. Yeah, what's new? Everything going up, man. This life is elevated. I can't complain. You dig what I'm saying? Yeah. Everything is just going as everything is going as planned. I'm trusting the process, one day at a time. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Just staying dangerous, making smart decisions, making smart moves, making every day count. You enjoying the process so far? Yeah. It's not. All, it's not. All. It's some. It's ups and downs. But I'm definitely enjoying it. Yeah. That's a fact. Uh, let's talk about the project. Trap Jesus, man. New, oh, wow. exclusive. You hear me? How you feel about that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm satisfied with the feedback I'm getting, you know what I'm saying? We just cracked a quarter million streams. In like, oh, yeah? Yeah, three weeks. Three you know weeks? what I'm saying? But that's cool because I ain't dropped a pro project in a long time, so it's just like, uh, it's just like, really like a yeah. brand new. This is like number one, you know yeah. what I'm saying? That's why, that's why it's Trap Jesus. It's like reincarnated Scarfo, so, yeah. you know what I'm saying? No support system, just, just me in the streets and working this way. And, and, I'm, and I'm satisfied. I've been getting all thumbs up. Everybody that has, the people that I have reached, the ears that I have reached, I feel like, have accepted it well and took it well and I've been getting all thumbs up people that have heard it, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Good criticism, positive feedback and all that. So I, I feel good with it. I'm gonna keep pushing it, you know what I'm saying? It's not over with we just dropped it what we we need the money in. Do some PR. I wish the world was open so we could do some good some shows and really let these people hear this shit and feel my energy but yeah. Like I said, I'm, just, I'm enjoying the process. I think I think they can get a good feel. You got some good speakers, you got some good quality, you hear me, audio, it's gonna be booming. I've been, I've been, I've been tapped in. I like it a lot. Right. I want, I think, that, bro. yeah, for sure. I, look, that. before we even get into the details of the track list, um, what is like reincarnated? I heard you've been saying that a lot as you've been, you know, going through knocking stuff out. More like the resurrection. I just feel like when I did go to prison, a lot of times, especially when you're so young in the career, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it's cool. You, you people go to prison when they're already lit, and then they come out big, bro. They come out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and they were still able to pick up where they left off. I feel like me being snatched off the streets, two, three, you know what I'm saying? A few months into my career, only one project getting in it. One, you know what I'm saying? Or two projects in however, however much music I had out. It, I didn't even have enough foundation to then get snatched off the streets two and a half years again. And then to be out, of, out yeah. a year and not put out no album for another yeah. year. So you really ain't getting no music from Scarfo for three years. Yeah. The whole world doesn't change. The yeah. whole sound of music doesn't change. Yeah. So I feel like I had to get in the groove and really find myself all over again. Yeah. Find Respect. the sound that the, the sound that, that's relevant. Because I couldn't come back with the old same drum yeah. rich flow. You know what I mean? That nigga ain't got damn yeah. day what the hell he was doing the whole time. Yeah. So, you know, I had to really get find something to talk about, figure out what I wanted to talk about. I know what I want to talk about, but figure out how I want to say it. Yeah. And really got dang. Like I said, rebirth the whole, rebirth, scarf for the plug, grow the hair back, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Go through the process, you know, the spring process, the summer, the growing, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, now yeah, we, yeah. Hey, and it's nice to see it, because if you all go the back, seasons. Yeah, fast, go ahead. If you go back and you look at where we started at to now, it's like, okay, okay, bro, I've really been going up. Jewelry yeah. better, everything looking better. We got big features, you know what I'm saying? Everything yeah. is looking better, man. Yeah, nah, I'm proud of that. It's, it's. I always tell artists, artists that I really like, when I'm tapped in and you get to see the growth of how you started, like I was telling um I was telling Peso, 
I got hip to y'all when I was in high school. Word. And here we are grown men, you know what I'm saying? Years later, mm -hmm. look at the work, look at how we done progressed and, and all of this shit. But Yeah, I'm proud of your, your platform growing as well. Man. man, you know it. You know it. we try and go up. But um let's talk about how has a father how has being a father been for you. Word. That's been that shit been dope, man. It's just definitely a humbling experience. Yeah. Definitely um a grounding experience. You know what I'm saying? And it get it give you uh Purpose. Yeah. Oh, you know what I'm saying? You feel like you more tapped in now or more um You more tapped in? As into far the as universe, yeah, definitely. Like yeah. into the universe, I feel like I'm I'm way more in tune with what the hell going on. Excuse me, I'm making this play right now. Yes sir. Real track, Jesus. Um I definitely feel like I'm way more in tune and I got a reason I'm I'm more focused, like my eyes is open. I don't, I, I'm not just already closed. Um, oh. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like my I feel like you know what I'm I have a reason to get home every day and I think twice and I'm a couple more cautious, I stay dangerous and I'm more fifty at all times, you know yeah. what I mean? So being a father just put me more and I think twice and you know what I'm saying, you know, say three stop three steps ahead, you know what I'm saying? I'm playing chess at all times, I'm a real pawn it makes it turn me to a real pawn pusher. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, like let's talk about that. Jump ahead first. Let's talk about that too, because last time you were saying pawn pusher was on the way, boom, you surprised the streets drop trap yeah, Jesus. Jesus facts, you know what I'm saying? I didn't show it out. Cause pawn at that time I feel like I was still in the building process, I was figuring out I was looking at my chessboard and I was figuring out who was for me, who was on the other side, you know what I'm saying? Who was soldiers, who was goddamn more important pieces, who was knights, who was kings, you know what I'm saying, who my queen was, all that type. Yeah. I was putting I was putting getting my chessboard together. And now I feel like and then once I once it came together, I felt okay, it wasn't time for tra for palm push it. Let me give him tragedy because I'm still in. You know what I'm saying? This yeah. is a resurrection. So yeah. let me get this it's time for this, you know what I'm saying? It's a time place for everything. So palm push is still coming. Yeah. But I still am a palm push it. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying, when I was making the album it felt like trap Jesus, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It felt, felt like, you know what I'm saying? Uh, it felt, uh, it felt uh, holy. It felt, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah. this, like this was, this was the one. You know what I'm saying? This was, the, this was going to send me to the, to the. This, I felt like I sent, I sent it to the top of my game. Not near, not really because I just scratched the surface. However, I feel like this is one of my best projects and, and work so thus far. Yeah, for, for sure. sure. And I was gonna say, so so far, you've been talking a lot about like trap Jesus, the religion, Christian, and, and, and explaining it properly to people. How much research have you been getting into while or, or even learning more about religion or Jesus as you've been creating this project? Um Well I always been a reader, man, you know what I'm saying? So I, I read a lot of I read a lot I know I read a lot of the Quran and the, and the Bible, so I, I know what I'm saying, I, I know a lot of scripture and whatnot and I'm very knowledgeable in the spirit world. Yeah. So I feel like that's the only reason why I felt um worthy enough to even speak how I'm speaking because I feel like I pretty well yeah. and not cross over into blasphemy, you yeah, know what I'm saying, sure. and speak, you know what I'm saying, and because and, and, and I know my work, a lot of people speak their own demise into, into existence, That's so sure. I feel like I know which words to say and which words not to say and to even take on that role or even take on that name, you know what I'm saying, yeah. as the, the Messiah yeah. of trap yeah. music. I feel like yeah. I know I can say, I think I, I, I'm knowledgeable enough to speak it to where I'm not blasphemous and I'm not disrespecting God or... Yeah spirit world and I you know what I'm saying and that's so I have been I feel like I did do, do my due diligence and now of knowledge seeking before yeah I took on that role no I can tell I can tell it's oozing out it ain't just motherfucking it ain't just talking like you said you're not just blaspheming about it like you on point so you got it's like you got the safeguards up you got to cover your bases is low to cover mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. knocking mm -hmm. it out the right way right, exactly that's, that's definitely the goal. Man, Tribe Jesus, you had a lot of DMV producers or a couple mm -hmm. DMV producers. What, which ones, uh, shout out who you rocking with? Uh, Drew. Yeah. Drew Two Tide. That little nigga is fire. He, he is definitely gonna be a platinum artist in no time. I mean, a platinum, platinum producer in no time. Yeah. He's gonna be a multi platinum producer in no time. Um, who else I had on there? Um, uh, I had Drew on there, and I had uh, I had a lot of DMV. I had DMV features on there, yeah. more, more so. You know what I'm saying? Features for sure. Features for sure. Uh, but Drew was probably the only producer. Oh no, and I had uh, I had pa Zanny Pacquiao. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I was about touchdown. to say I knew it was somebody else. Yeah, he, with he that produced, joint. Yep, yeah, Zanny Pacquiao produced Touchdown. We're one of my leading record records right now. After yeah. I would fact. 
and and it's what gas, bro. what 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 drew you towards the the DMV producers? You know what I'm saying? Like, how is it that they sound the same? Cause you got Atlanta producers on there too. Yeah. Um. See, I had to cater to my DMV market, cause I, you know, what I'm saying DMV love me, and I love the DMV. Like, sure. I feel like at home right now. Yeah. So. When I got down, even when I be on their beats and I, I get they vibe, I just I fit so well into it. I had to make sure that it was three or four songs with then the artist and and the sound on there because you know what I'm saying. Just like how Drake, I have rap and conscious and then put some reggae in that motherfucker yeah, because sure. he just love reggae how you how you feel about that or whatever you know what i'm saying that's how i feel about the dmv like yeah. i gotta make sure it's always on every one of my albums i'm gonna have a dmv artist dmv production yeah you know what i'm saying some way some some way some form some some shape you know what i mean yeah definitely dmv to atl all the way i like that i like that strengthening that connection yeah definitely i'm not, shit, i'm the only one that's really got them keeping that shit really yeah, together can, yeah, yeah that bridge sure. Single-handedly, like, I was so not dead ass. Like yeah. I, I, I'm with more than confident enough to say that shit. I'm the reason why all the DMV artists feel comfortable coming to Atlanta, tapping yeah. in with y'all. You know what I'm saying? I like, make sure they got all their drugs, all the weed. And come get stick from them, man. To got that flock to riff. Everybody yeah. come here, tap in with me. Real yeah. niggas, real niggas. You know what I'm saying? All the biggest artists from down here, then tap in with me, and and they make me feel just as comfortable when I come to this city. They yeah. roll the red carpet out just the same way, yeah. and it's all love. Yeah. You know Respect. Saying? I'm glad that we finally seen that. Like for the DMV, it's been a long time before uh, really making them connections from different locations to different places. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times we see stuck in this same market. Yeah. The niggas yeah. got to feel comfortable where we, where we step is our kingdom. So yeah. You know what I'm sure. saying? Like I said, I'm from the streets. I'm from everywhere. I'm yeah. from DMV too. Shit. I'm from yeah. Compton. I'm from goddamn so Seattle. Yeah. Shit, where we are. from Nebraska. Whatever the fuck I got. I'm from everywhere. Shit. I'm from the streets. It's wherever, <laughs> wherever that shit got there. Yeah. Wherever they got. Feel that's like the from. grittiest, the grittiest. Yeah. That's you I'm from the streets of London, the UK, nigga. Wherever yeah. the projects in the UK, and London. No, for real. That's how you tell y'all can fit right in. Just like I've been there my whole life. <laughs> yeah. Is that, you think that's a skill that certain people have, or is that something that you learn yeah, how to do? No, uh, no, it's not deep to learn. I mean, they got, you know what I'm saying, them waist deep niggas that be going high detective shit. They probably could learn how to do that shit, but yeah, it gotta sure. be in you, man. That shit can't yeah. be on you, man. Cause you could, nigga could dress up, put all type of design on it, you could point the lane from a mile away. No, nah, for real. But that nigga <laughs> is a square. Yeah. That, you know what I'm saying? No matter. You know, so, that shit I'm definitely gotta be in you to be able to just. You gotta be a wolf to be able to live a wolf. That's just true. You know what I'm saying?